Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today I want to show you what you can do with the brand new sidechain workflow that we have in Studio One 6, because there's some really interesting creative applications for it that you might not have explored yet. So in this example here, I have a bass and a synth pad, and I'd like to animate them a bit more rhythmically. Right now, there's not a lot of movement, and the whole thing just lacks a lot of drive. If you listen to this, it's kind of nice and atmospheric, but it doesn't really keep the listener's attention too much. And even if I would add a couple of drums, which I've prepared here, it's still not quite... not quite that interesting. So one way to approach that is to, as I said, get a little bit more animation and movement into these sounds. And my favorite way to do this in Studio One 6 is with a ghost sidechain. And before we could only achieve that with some complex routing, with pre-faders and things of that nature. But right now it's really easy. So for example, in this instrument track, I have loaded up a Mai Tai. Mai Tai is the virtual analog synthesizer that comes with Studio One. And it sounds quite good. This is like the default preset that I have here. And what I then like to do, because I'm not actually going to use this sound, I'm just going to use that to trigger that rhythmic animation. I'm going to take this punch parameter here and crank that all the way up. That really doesn't sound good on its own, but it's meant to give the sound a more clear transient, which is going to be helpful in that ghost side chaining we're going to do in just a moment. So now that that's prepared, I can go ahead and select the creative sidechain bus. This is a bus that I've just created for these two instrument tracks here. The synth pad, which sounds like this, and the bass. And the only reason I've created this additional bus is so that I could sidechain them with the same settings at the same time. For that application, I have a compressor loaded up here on the bus, and I have my very own preset loaded called Creative Sidechaining. And I've actually added that to Personas Exchange, so if you'd like to have that with the same settings ready to go for yourself, then just head over there and download it, and it should show up in your preset list right away. To do so, just open up Studio One's browser, go to the Clouds tab, double-click Personas Exchange to log in, and search Creative. When you do so, you should find my brand new preset creative side chaining right here. You can install that with one single click and it should show up in your compressor preset list. Okay, so then just go ahead and assign that. I've already done so. And now the only other thing we should do is tick this arrow here where we can set the source of our sidechaining. So if you're not sure what sidechaining is, this means that the compressor is not ducking down the signal that is applied on, but the ducking occurs whenever a different signal on a different channel is reaching the threshold. And this can create all kinds of interesting effects like gated effects. And of course, we can also use all of the cool media editing possibilities to make that result even more interesting. So to show you this, I'll just tick the Mai Tai here. And I'm not going to tick the send because this would make me hear the Mai Tai, but I really just want to use that as a trigger source. So I'm going to route the entire output of the Mai Tai into the compressor instead. And now I'm not going to hear this instrument at all. But every time I trigger the Mai Tai from my MIDI controller, for instance, I'm able to generate a really interesting modulation in this way. I could just record that, of course, or I could recall that with retrospective record. This is instantly recalling what I just played, and now I have that ready to go here on my instrument track. And of course, I can make like a couple of corrections here. Maybe this note here, take that out. Yeah, I really like that, so I'm just going to duplicate that a couple of times. And that's how easy it is to just animate your synthesizers or anything else that you want to animate. This also works great with vocals and any kind of sound source that you can imagine. So just for a quick comparison, this is without the ghost sidechaining. I just turned off the compressor. 
Sounds kind of boring, not really animated. And this is with a sidechain. A lot more interesting if you ask me. Great starting point for your creative endeavors in electronic music. And thank you for watching.